Okay, does, is that a thing right there? It is. Ten mantras and the virtual wise man who has mastery over them all are carved into the wall. Okay, well, that didn't seem incredibly useful, but hey. It seems like a safe place to make camp tomorrow. I'll find the treasure for sure. If you say so. You're a jerk, Dent. A real knee biter. Um, I can't go in there. This is new. Ow. Double out. Picked up a note saying the purple eye keeps watch over death's prison. Would have been nice to have known that before I died. The purple eye keeps watch over death's prison. Okay. The mantra harnessing Alpha hid a hidden relic, the Jed Pillar. It is fated to be swallowed by Kujata, the guardian of Lokapala creation. So Jed. Pillar swallowed by Kujata, the Guardian. That boat looks familiar. I'm glad to hear you're enjoying yourself. Hurricane Stone Statue. There's a striking resemblance to one of the creator deities in Mayan mythology. Huracan is said to have created humanity, but was so enraged by their ignorance that he triggered a cataclysm, purgeoning them. This myth is thought to have stemmed from the destruction at the hand of the mother. That sounds important. Where are we? Oh, right. And it's Huracan's room. Okay, that sounds very important. Five, three, Hurricon statue. I am sorry that you don't find this game interesting. Uh, I feel this is what Mulbrook was talking about, about me not being able to go any further to the right. Oh, hello. Wait, what's this? Those who seek the golden key must first obtain the power to cling to walls. Golden key, huh? God damn it. Also, I never did get that switch. There's no goal. The goal is to explore and find shit. I am Velespa the Seer. I'm one of the few remaining Alpha. My powers of premonition are no more, and now I simply wait for the end. The Guardian controlling Onovan pre prevents us from carrying out our plans. The Fairy King's powers are also waning. Please go speak to Frey the Fairy King. I did that. Yeah, Ar already spoke to Frey. Already, already good on that. You got anything else? Have you spoken with the Fairy King yet? We Alpha are attempting to prevent the end in which the Mother would use her power to destroy the world. However, with the Mother's bonds over us so strong, we cannot carry out this plan on our own. If you do not wish to see the end of the world itself, then please help us. I shall call forth the Ankh of the Guardian of Onovan. Uh, no, I don't need to explain that again. Uh, there is a goal. The goal is to figure out what the hell's going on here. Unlike your people, we six children have a set rules to fill from the moment we are born. Freya has been fairy king since birth, just as Freya was born to be queen of Onovan. Part of our apart from our bodies eventually withering, we do not grow old. We simply continue to live for the purpose of fulfilling our respective roles. We are also unable to become anything more than that as which we were born. Uh, nope, that's interesting. I'm not sure why that's considered to be key text. Unlike your people, okay. Like if if you want. Like, baby's first video game goal. The goal is to beat all the Guardians and beat the final boss. That's the goal. But in order to, like, defeat all the Guardians, I have to solve a bunch of puzzles to cause them to appear. Um, so, for example, one of the puzzles to cause this boss to appear was simply... Uh, Basically, to talk to uh, that woman, then talk to Frey, do what Frey wanted, and then she makes the boss appear. Then I have to go find the Ankh, which is the boss-creating item, 
Uh, and then I go beat the boss. And being the boss unlocks something else. Crap. Well, I missed that cycle. Well, not even cycle. I missed that. That... Excuse me? Excuse the hell out of me? I mean, this... God damn it. This is all I intend to stream today. Yeah. I mean, GDQ's up right now. That's a great thing to go watch. Uh, no, that's not where I'm looking to go. Like, there will eventually be, like, bosses and such. Eventually. How do I get up there? Oh, I went entirely the wrong way for absolutely no reason. Okay. That happened. I mean, if it's not your style, like, absolutely go and do other things. I mean, like, just... Unfortunately, I will not always be playing games that everybody likes. Ow. Okay. You wanna... Thank you. Okay, there. God... Ugh. Do not step on the trap. Jump over the trap. Thank you. Press the button. What did that do? Okay, it opened up a shortcut. Cool. Um, I think I have run out of places to go in this portion of the ruins. I mean, I want to go in there, but that's the place that I was very expressly told, like, I could not get to. Mm. Uh, Smeebit, you don't want to do that, because people will die. Okay, let me go reactivate that shortcut, and then... <sighs> Where have I... We do still have a couple places I can go explore. Okay, so... Can I go react with the Cirrus? Because I think that was part of the attempt of well, one of the death attempts. So let's go react with the Cirrus, and then um, I could go down there and see what's down. Crap. I am, uh... I am running out of resources. Why'd I come here? That was pointless. I just went in a big circle. Used all of my shurikens. Falling down traps. Again.
Do I get things for killing things? Uh, yeah, actually. Almost every enemy has a drop of some manner. So, um, those green orbs fill the experience meter, that blue meter on my, uh, bar up there. Um, and the experience meter, when it's completely full, um, okay, yes, I did do this. Um... The, when the experience meter is full, I get all of my health back. So, uh, some enemies drop uh, ammo. So, a couple of these enemies in this area have been dropping rolling shurikens, which um, I could take or leave, honestly. I prefer enemies that will... Um, I would prefer enemies drop, like, actual shurikens right now. Yeah, w when the blue meter completely fills, I get... I completely get my HP back. It's a chest over there. Oh, I completely failed that jump. I glanced over at chat real quick. Yeah, see, like, Wonder Girl, I like watching people do, um... Like, Lama Lana 1, because I've watched the playthrough so many times, I know it very well. So, it's fun to kind of watch and try to figure out what people do. It's the same type of fun of, like, a randomizer. Ah! There'd be an Onk here. Uh, I can't reach that, though. So... I need a shortcut for down. Okay, let's go see what's what's up with uh, Heimdall. Ow. Exploring is fun. Uh, okay, let's go down here. Moldbrook is also here. No, Moldbrook's at a mortal battlefield. Am I at the mortal battlefield? Ah, god damn it. One second. I don't know why that happens now. That shouldn't happen anymore. Kazuki research papers. race is born from the mother. First, I must explain why I was able to ascertain the intentions of the mother, the huge living being I mentioned. Return mother to space. This, for lack of a better term, mission, has been ingrained into the very genes of mankind born from said mother. In order to fulfill this mission, the children of the mother developed and proliferated intelligent civilization and strived to create the technology necessary for space travel. Following the trail of various texts and literature left by these children, the existence and influence of this mother gradually come into view. Also, further investigation into these texts and surviving ruins brings to light the fact that it wasn't a single race born from the mother. We, as modern humankind, are what were known as the Eighth Children. Indeed, before us there were seven other races that were born, and then subsequently met their destruction. These races were destroyed by the hand of the very mother who bore them. As the mother gave birth to each new race and then saw that they were unable to obtain the power necessary to return her to space, she would destroy the current race and then give birth once again to another new workforce. Before undertaking the investigation of the newly discovered ruins, I would like to quickly break down my current knowledge and understanding of these seven races. The first children were snakes from the belly down, unable to comprehend the wishes of their mother and desiring only her power, they met their end. The second children were a race known as the Giants. Apparently, they were successful in making contact with extraterrestrial beings, but were then wiped out in civil war. The third children had wings in their backs and were extremely proficient at flying. However, they attempted to recreate their mother's power and cared for nothing else till their own end. The fourth children were half man, half fish. When the third children were wiped out, a huge flood covered the earth and water, and it seems that this fourth race was created simply for the purpose of carrying on what civilization remained. The fifth children were similar in form to modern man, but were apparently somewhat smaller in size. They, too, were destroyed, apparently perceiving the secrets to life and death and attempting to take advantage of their mother's power. 
From the six children on, these races were no longer born directly from the mother. Rather, they were made from clay dolls created by the fifth children with some sort of machine used to breathe life into them. It may be safe to assume that around this time, the mother became unable to bear any further children using her power alone. Possibly for this very reason, it seems that she was unable to properly lead these children, and they subsequently split into several separate races, leading to continuous wars. The six children worked on the life-giving machine further, and thus were born the seven children. They were created specifically to be a relatively powerless race in order to ensure they would not have the power to destroy themselves, nor to arouse suspicion in the mother as to what the six children were planning. The villagers around the entrance to La Mulana ruins are the remnants of this race. The sealing of La Mulana was made possible by these descendants of the six children, who became aware of the mother's power and continued for generations to study and research it in secret, quietly passing this wisdom down through the ages. Okay. A hole in the ground may well exist for a spear to pierce. So, um, I'm getting the... Okay. There's a switch in the hole in the floor, huh? Why not just stick your hand in there and flip it? If your hand can't reach, maybe try throwing something in, in it to flip it for you. That's some top-notch advice right there. Yeah, I'm getting the, opinion, uh, the impression that maybe a spear might be the thing to throw in there. From that tablet over there. Okay. That looks like a falling trap. Well then, we now have spears. Okay, well, there's stuff we can do with spears, but I want the teleport point to get here. Um, okay, that was a whistle I just heard. Okay, that way. Two sigils lie hidden within falling water. One seals the ship of life. New note. Mortal Battlefield. Two sigils lie within falling water. One seal. The ship of life. And that looks like a diagram. Let's get a picture of that shit. Okay. Lycanthrope. That guy appeared to have, like, bombs or something. Hmm. Guide El Ball. I'll never forget why Pap told me on his deathbed. When the cat is away, the mice will say, Now you get yours. Well, I guess I got mine. Why do I want to be over here? I don't feel like I do. But I did see stuff up there. Hi, friend. Ye who seek to bear the gale fibula must first pass the spear bereft beast. Only then she dash at the wind incarnate, your human potential unlocked. So... Pass spear bereft. Beast to get Gale Fibula. Bereft meaning something they don't happen, so I give spears to a dude? God damn it. So give spears to a guy who doesn't have one and I get a prize. Okay, got it. What's this? Kubera. This place is run by the Lokapala, the six children, who aim to take control of Eglon itself. They've taken control of Yggdrasil. Watch out for their lookouts. Get found, and they'll gather their buddies to deal with you. Well, that sucks. Anything more you gotta say? No. Okay. Oh, wait. Spear. Spear? Ooh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. H how do I... Do I gotta break that? Oh. Oh, god damn it. It's one of these games. Also, damn it. Like, I hate games that have passages like that. It's so obnoxious. It's, a, it's above the spikes. It's above the spikes. It's above the spikes. Okay, I gotta tell myself that, because apparently I keep screwing up the jump. It's above the spikes. Above the spikes. Gale Fibula acquired. Achievement unlocked running like the wind. What the hell? Okay, then. So, Spear Bereft Beast evidently meant hole in ground. Good to know. Um. Ow. So. Let's try. Okay, that worked. Let's get me back to the start does okay um look for the land of human war and battle over a ring of water continues with that end this land will open itself when the ring of water is revived revive ring of water okay uh i don't want to leave but i kind of have to otherwise i'm gonna die because it looks like the only place for me to go right now is to the right Secret Moon in the festival. I mean, look, if you ground pound everywhere, you will eventually find stuff. Uh, okay. So, let's go back to Onaven. Um, actually, no. Let's, let's go back to the root, the roots of Yggdrasil, because, um, we can do stuff. We, we can do stuff in the roots of Yggdrasil. Um, because there was one of those holes in the uh, Roots of Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. Hey, look. There's one of those holes right there, too. Ow. You might have to be specific, uh, Iris. There are a lot of times like that. God damn bats. Oh wait, hey. Mantra acquired. like you're able to get your hands on mantra thanks to my app but there's a bit of a problem you can use the mantra app to record mantras like the ones in Lamalana ruins but you need a relic called the jed pillar to use a mantra once you acquire the jed pillar you'll probably be able to use mantras so it's an app hmm. doesn't appear to be anything in there though Oh, right. No, I don't want to go up there right now. That's bad. I don't want to go up there. Are we in Pokemon's world? No, those are carbuncles. We're in the Final Fantasy world, apparently. OK, 
Okay, so I have... So my note says that I have a switch in room 1-1. One, one. Now it's like a switch in room 1-1. One, one. Nice. What do we got? Onovan. Poison gas. I got an idea. See that race switch down there in the lower left? <laughs> it worked. Ooh, what's this? Possessor of the figurine of prayer, pray that the memory of this monument may remain. Picture on that tablet I've seen it before. It's a tool for praying that we seven children use. It's called a totem pole. If you have that, you should be able to record things to the Holy Grail. It's like a special Holy Grail tablet. It's similar to the replica of the Holy Grail tablet in the village, but it looks like you can only record locations. I have no idea what that means. Um. Proceed if you yearn for either death or heaven. Uh, heaven, preferably. Oh, I'm just getting... Oh my god, I'm getting juggled so bad. Hmm, I have feelings about that. Yeah, but apparently death is what I will be getting, evidently. Yeah, but, th but there's a there's a weight thing there. I want the weight thing. How do I... Can I just move faster than it? No. No, I cannot. Take a photo? Take a photo of what? Like, there's nothing there to take a photo of. Like, I don't have, like, a picture-taking thing. I have an app that scans murals. What? Excuse me, I pressed the... Okay. Okay. 